Okay guys, in this video I'm going to talk about something rather controversial, just like in the last video. In the last video I talked about a 250 million year old possible civilization which destroyed Australia. In this one I'm going to talk about the Sphinx. Now, there was an article last year to Russian scientists and uh, these guys said the Sphinx could be 800,000 years old based on the geological processes and this video is sort of supporting that. Here we have what's called a... essentially it's a... It, it, it's a squat form of a mesa. Uh, it's also called a bute. And this here is screed. That's what it's called. This is eroded rock which has... It, it, this breaks down all the time and it chips down it, it, it heats, it expands, it cools, it weathers, and it turns into this sort of dust. This is Norway, and uh, these are called Tula cones. And this is the same sort of thing, and do you see this, this pattern, these patterns here? We actually see this um, on the walls around the Sphinx. And this is the scree, which has come off the eroded rock. And it's just sort of, if we could compress the time and, and show a million years very quickly, we would essentially see this, this flowing out and this slowly disappearing. This is Uluru, Air's rock, and this is essentially, um, it, it's, 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 it's like a... A, a flat mountain top, but it's on its side. Now, Giza is one of these, but it, 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 it's that way up. Now, this has weathering. Do you see this? It's non-uniform weathering. Um, this was an outcrop. The rest of it has weathered away. It's gone. All the weaker stones, only the hardest stone remains. And this is how this sort of weathering occurs. Here we have, uh, essentially, this is a mesa. So what, what we have, this is a, a, a mesa the right way up. Uh, that, that was a mesa on its side. So this is a mesa now. And look, we have the same thing. Uh, we have, this, is, this is erosion from rain. Back here, this, was ero this is erosion from rain, uh, particularly in, area, in, 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 in the weaker points, the weaker points. Erosion from rain, and then this is the scree coming down the Tula. And that's in Australia, by the way. And here we have the Sphinx. Now, many years ago, uh, a scientist called Robert Schock, a geologist, said the Egyptologists have got it wrong. This is the Sphinx here. It appears to be inside an enclosure. The enclosure appears to have been carved. Why then do we have this rainwater Erosion. Horizontal marks, that could be wind erosion, could be something else. That's rainwater. That's water erosion, that's what it looks like, but it doesn't really rain much in Egypt. At least it doesn't now, it did before. Now, he has, he used to say the Sphinx is maybe 5,000 to 7,000 BC. I think recently he's, pushed in, he's pushing it back to 10,000 BC. And I'm going to say, that's not long enough for this. No way. This is geological time. Geological time creates something like this. Here, there are bricks. There are bricks on the Sphinx. And these bricks were put here in the Old Kingdom to preserve it. The Sphinx is way older than the Old Kingdom. And I'm going to prove that very soon. This is in Israel. It's a mountain in Israel. Look at that. It, it looks it looks almost like someone's laid some concrete together, but there's the same thing here. So we see it's perfectly natural, and it's breaking away. Do you see these chunks here? They've just come off, and it the dust flows almost like a liquid over long periods of geological time. I'm talking millions of years. And uh, yes, we also see see weathering from rain. Uh, we see vertical marks. Here, this is a quarry at Giza. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. A Giza quarry. This is the main quarry, and we would expect to see 
vertical marks. Instead we see vertical marks possibly consistent with the size of pyramid blocks being chunked out of this structure and it's all perfectly smooth. The weathering is totally inconsist inconsistent with what we see at the Sphinx. So what on earth is going on here? This should be the same age as the Sphinx, if the Sphinx is Old Kingdom as is conventionally stated. This should look the same, it's made of the same substance. It's the Giza Plateau. It, it, the Giza Plateau, it, it's a large mesa. This is, this is the Giza Plateau, it's much like I've just showed you. Look at that, perfectly flat at the top. Look at the sides, it's 50 feet or so above uh, Cairo. Do you see this here? This is uh, weathering more or less consistent with what we see at the Sphinx. You see this, this, this wall here. And look at that, these are channels, water was flowing off here, you see this? Water was flowing, flowing downhill. Uh, the, the, the pyramids are on the highest points, and the water flows away in both directions. The Sphinx is over here, this is the, uh, the Khafre Pyramid, the Great Pyramid, and the Sphinx is over there, and this is the, these are the rocks associated with the Sphinx. That's the Sphinx, that's the Sphinx head right there. By the way, no erosion on the pyramids. The py it's all the same stone. Why is there no erosion on the pyramids? Nothing. All the same age, apparently. Here's another mesa. Uh, this is in Monument Valley in uh, USA. Look at this. Rainwater erosion over millions of years, long periods of geological time, and the scree coming off. This is simply harder rock. Differential erosion. Uh, there was a lot more. You see, everything here. There was a, there was a huge uh, a huge river here, possibly, and it, everything's been everything's fallen away due to moisture or rain or whatever. It's a bit of a, a Grand Canyon, but uh, somewhat in a different place. Again, Uluru. Another view of Uluru, and uh, again we see. We see marks of erosion. Long periods of geological time. Another, another view of the, uh, the Giza Plateau. You can see all these skyscrapers out here and in the front. Look at that. Marks of erosion here. Um, the wall has essentially fallen away. Do you see this? The, the cliff's broken away, limestone cliff. Uh, it, it does this all over the world. As soon as it becomes weak, it starts to fall away like this. Note, this was built 5,000 years ago, and nothing has fallen away here. They built it right on the edge of the plateau, so it would be seen as close to the city as possible. This is a century-old picture of the Sphinx. I think they first excavated the Sphinx in 1926, so this is pushing a century now. Look at these walls. Just look at them. Look at what's going on here. Look at the size of this hole for the Sphinx. I think the Sphinx used to be bigger. It was aligned this way to fit the hole more uniformly. There is huge erosion here at any rate. Even if it was recarved, it was recarved well before the Old Kingdom. According to the inventory stealer, Pharaoh Khufu repaired this. He didn't build this, he repaired this. Pharaoh Khafre, they think the face is Pharaoh Khafre. Could have been recarved in the Middle Kingdom, according to Robert Temple. Fishes. Rain. It doesn't rain at Giza. What's going on? This is very old indeed. This was carved. This was possibly carved. Not sure about this. Another thing to note, there appears to be less vertical erosion on the Sphinx, although there are vertical fissures than on these walls, so this was recarved more recently than these were carved. So we could be talking tens of thousands of years for this, and maybe 10,000 years for this, or even longer. Maybe the whole thing is a hundred thousand years old. Again, think in terms of geological time as something which would have created this.
That's not man-made. Looks like it's been carved by man, but those fishes, no. This is traditionally how the Sphinx has always looked. It's surrounded by sand. Look at these camel herders. This is how it's always been. Since history began in 3000 BC, it's been very sandy, wind-blown sand due to the whole erosion of Africa. It's turned into a very, very hot climate. It's just totally warmed up. When this was built, we can presume Africa was more of a farmland and there wouldn't have been any sand here at all. This was just, just green. This was nice. The sand does not match the fissures in the limestone. Again, this is the, the quarry at Giza. This is the same stuff that supposedly the Sphinx is made of. Look at that. Look at this. It's totally different. It's less eroded. This is supposedly perhaps 2500 BC, time of the building of the pyramids. Why does it look different? Why does it look so much younger? Fissures, possible rainwater erosion, less than on the cliff sides. Here there's a, a, a large area which doesn't appear to have been excavated on the other side of the Sphinx. These blocks are Old Kingdom. They put blocks on it to protect it. It was already eroded when they supposedly built it. That doesn't make any sense at all. The Mastabas. I find the Mastabas even more interesting than the, than the pyramids, to be honest. That looks like it's from Peru, but that's actually at Giza. And th this is a sign of the megalith builders. They were here. There were many different cultures at Giza, and you can identify them by their types of architecture. Ignore this hodgepodge of, of rubble in front of the pyramid. It looks just... Uh, the pyramid people have put this here, the, the archaeologists. It doesn't even really fit very well. Notice the uniformity of the rock. It was all carved at the same time, or it was carved from the same rock, and then it was eroded. It's all facing the same, roughly the same direction. Look at this rubble. These are the three Menkore pyramids. They might have been covered up in ancient times. That's a mesa behind them. There's the erosion coming off it. And then there's this strange anomaly. Do you know what this is? The pyramid, well, they think it's a pyramid, Kent Kawes. Now, this has been hijacked by the fourth dynasty. This looks like the rubble that I've just shown you, the, 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 the rubble interiors of the Menkore pyramids, whether they were finished or not, covered with casing stones, we don't know. These are the, the, the so-called Queen's Pyramids. And look, they've put that on top of a far earlier structure, and I'm going to talk about this structure in another video. This is actually the second Sphinx, and they've cut the head off, turned it into this. Now, you see erosion. This is as old as the Sphinx, but it's never talked about. This was converted into a pyramid for a wife, or cousin, or sister, or daughter of Menkore, and she might have been a progenitor to the 5th Dynasty Kings. This is a very old structure, and it goes right down. Look, that's some sort of writing or some facade there, and it's buried. They've even installed a path here, but actually you could, you could excavate this just like the Sphinx, and you would see it goes all the way down, and there would be walls around this as well. We are talking tens, possibly tens of thousands of years. This is a very, very old monument. Think in terms of geological time as, as something which would have created this. Certainly nothing in our climate would have created this. It would have been thousands of tens of thousands of years of past water erosion. We could be talking 30,000 BC. Why not? We have a temple in Turkey, 11,000 BC, and it looks like they had agriculture. So why not, why not 30,000 BC? A mastaba without the erosion. You see, they're all different. This is supposedly a mastaba. A mastaba, it's, it's basically just a, a smaller type of pyramid. It's got the same sort of walls going up on that angle, a sort of burial inside. Again, this, this one looks more like it was the megalith builders. 
So we could be talking between 10,000 and 5,000 BC for this, or even Old Kingdom, maybe even, even 2,500 BC. They built similar stuff in Peru, all over the world. This, far older, that's Old Kingdom, that's 2,500 BC. Take a guess. It's been eroded by geology over very long periods of time. That similar rock has not been touched. 2500 BC, apparently. That's the evidence for the extreme antiquity of what is going on at Giza. Look, it goes all the way down. Look at this. This is some scree here, possibly from the walls. You see, that's a wall. That's eroded as well. And this is eroded down, or, or, or that could be backfill from something else. And look, it goes right down here. That, and look, look, look at this. Is that a foot? Is that a leg? It looks like there's been some sort of concrete or something put around it. We don't know. We'd have to remove that. And there could be a second sphinx here. Another view of this. Buried monument. Very old. Again, the quarry. Looks nothing like the Sphinx. This is the Sphinx. The Sphinx area. That's that's. This is actually tiny little bricks. Can you see here? Uh, this is a mud brick wall built in ancient times when they when they excavated it to protect sand getting in. But uh, I guess not very effective. Sand got in anyway. Erosion. Water erosion. This is not 5000 BC. In 5000 BC, the climate was the same as today. It, it was even, it might have even been hotter than today. This is Ice Age, before even 10,000 BC, before 15,000 BC, and it's been done for thousands of years. This, this whole area could be 20,000 BC. Thanks for watching.